Welcome back to the new tutorial of MS Excel 365-365 formula series. My name is Sachin and in this tutorial we are going to learn a new different formula that is cumulative interest payment. So let's start guys. So in front of you this is the table we have taken where loan amount, public investment amount we have entered, annual rate of interest we have taken as 12 and uh, the period per year we have taken like 12. So basically it means in a one year we are going to take 12, 12 period and that would be giving us a compounding effect and the rate of rate per period we are captured by dividing this 10 percent divided by 12 and we are going to compute the interest amount for a five total period how we are getting we are we are just multiplied the period per year multiplied by five we are getting the total period at 60 and uh, for the namesake we have taken the start period as one and uh, end the period for 12 so basically what this formula will give us the result is it will give the cumulative amount of interest. So let's try to put this formula and we'll see the description of this formula which says returns the cumulative interest paid between two periods. So first we'll give the rate that is that we have computed by dividing the annual rate divided by the period per year. After that total number of period, then present value. Present value we have taken as one lakh. From start of the period we have taken one and end period twelve. Now uh, our last parameter is type which says end of the period or beginning of the period. Generally uh, when we are going to bank or something like that we keep on charging the rate of interest from the beginning of the period. So that's why we are going to take one or in the other way we can take the zero period as well like when there is a different scenario we can discuss it later stage. The moment we are entering this we are getting our result as 8366. And the one catch here in this formula is this formula is taking a result in a different sign. The moment we are taking this as a positive number, we are getting the result in a negative manner. And the moment I am just taking as negative, it is going to be the number. Instead of that, what I can do, I can put the present value negative here. Still I am getting the negative. Or in front of this formula, I can keep as negative so that I can get my result in a very presentable way. So this formula is also useful in terms of uh, analysis, uh, some sort of analysis uh, like forecasting things and all are computed in the interest and all. And uh, in the same way we can leverage this formula and it is also a very powerful formula. So hope you like the session. Thanks for watching. Keep like, share and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you guys.